this video of Wemby barreling through chat kinda went viral and Holmgren responded on Twitter meaning that there's a little rivalry brewing here. Still, both guys played well and we need to break it down. Where do you see a 7-1 giant handling the ball like a guard and initiating the offense? Not only that, but watch what he does right here. Did you catch it? Let me explain. Chet is going to slip this pick and his incredible quickness for such a big guy puts him right at the basket in no time so there's the threat of the alley-oop. Collins then has to backpedal to stay with him which you can see how it just opens up the lane for Williams to casually go all the way inside and finish without a rim protector contesting him. This is pretty much the same play here, we got the rescreen on the other side and at this moment the lane is open for the roll while Collins is just a step further out to stop what I showed you on the first play. So again, another lightning quick roll, this time they go for the lob and the monster dunk by Holmgren as there is no way the defender could get this high up to deflect this pass. And here's my reaction to it live on the stream. And um, you can, oh my god, Chad catching the, the lob, the alley-oop flush, one-hander by Chad Holmgren. By the way guys, if you have an NBA League Pass, you can connect with this platform Playback TV and you can watch the games live with me. I'm streaming almost every night, it's super fun to talk to you in the chat so tune in and watch with me, the link is in the description or just download the app on mobile. This is not sponsored, I just love streaming the games with you. Okay, moving on. Right here, Josh Giddy is an extremely crafty guy who knows how to take advantage of a smaller defender. Zach Collins already knows it, so he follows that. But what you need to know is that this guy who's wide open in the corner was a 39% shooter from downtown in college. So Giddy throws one of his sick cross-court passes to him, Chad fires away and knocks it down. And look at this early offense setup for your center. The pass in transition and we already got the screen over here. And Holmgren is again wide open and splashes this shot. Just imagine how much the floor would open for OKC if he continues to shoot it well like he did in this game. And watch this, he's asking for a screen up top. This is an inverted pick and roll where the small guy screens for the big. And when you can handle the ball with that speed, there's not much for the defense to do. Look at that strong finish through contact with the bucket plus the foul and he flexes his muscles. This is a great segue because you already know that the flex was a response to this. Same thing as Chad, the ability to handle the ball and be this agile at 7-4 is absolutely insane. Everybody talks about this play but Wemby had other great plays in this game. To me, the wildest one was this steal right here. Just watch him glance back then go for the ball extending in a way that I haven't seen before. Swipes for it and immediately sprints on the fast break. Again, this is a 7-4 guy doing these acrobatics on defense and the speed. Man, what a time to be an NBA fan. We got some aliens playing ball out here. Victor's length allowed him to recover after he gets crossed right here. But then look at the comeback, meeting Williams right at the rim and rejecting his shot. The length is obviously there but the agility to regroup and get back into the picture for the block, that's impressive. Speaking of agility, I gotta show you this angle because this is poetry in motion here with the spin, goes up and adjusts mid-air when the help comes and finishes with the lefty scoop. This is just beautiful and watch how all of that looked in full speed without much time to think and with the defense coming at you, wow. Wemby also showed his outside range hitting two threes and you can see that this is a designed play for him to get the ball up top. A sniper at that size is just unfathomable. All in all, a great duel between the two and the media hyped it up so much that it became a rivalry. Flexing muscles on one another, showing their moves and even chirping on Twitter after the game. If both guys stay healthy, we're going to enjoy some crazy head-to-head -head battles. That's it for now but make sure to join me on playback and watch the games live with me. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.